Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Monday, Moon Day, November 29th, and energies in the day adds up and reduces the number nine vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. So today is the full moon and Gemini day. And I think it's interesting that today is Monday, Moon Day, and a full moon energy. So Mondays for me are days of self care. Like if you've been watching these videos long enough, you've heard me say it. A day like Monday, a day like today, is a day where you want to prior prioritize journaling or some kind of a verbal release. So whether you are journaling and expressing however you're feeling, why you're feeling, what you're feeling, or you're turning on a recorder and expressing yourself, today is a day of, you know, a day where we want to cleanse, we want to nurture ourselves. Mondays for me is a day where I nurture my plants. It's a day where everything needs to be clean and organized because I need to feel nurtured within the womb of my space. And for some of us, you know, we don't have the luxury of being off on Monday. Some of us have to go to work. So for those of us who have to go to work on a Monday, to me, you still want to nurture yourself and take some time for yourself. So you might pick certain moments within the day to tend to yourself and put yourself first. So it might mean that you uh, get up a little bit earlier than normal. And while you're in the shower, you, you know, take your time and bathe, you know, shower yourself. And as the washcloth or the water is hitting every spot you're grateful for every part of you even your skin you're just grateful for every part of you and for some of us you know you might spend a little bit of extra time in bed and as you're laying there you know you're just saying thank you you're grateful to be up you're grateful for another day you're just grateful for you and for others it might be on your lunch break where you take your lunch break and you spend some you know you spend it by yourself if you can or with someone who matters, but I feel like it's self-care. So you spend it by yourself if you can. And as you're eating your, your meal, you know, you're thankful. You're thankful for every chew. You're thankful. You know, you find things to be grateful for because we cannot be grateful and at the same time be in a bad mood. Like gratitude will always put you in a good mood. It's like whenever we're grateful, we're abundant. And I feel like Monday being Moon Day is such a sensitive and emotional energy naturally, you know, that we it's best to spend the time just being grateful because we're also nurturing moments to come that we're going to be grateful for like in the moment of us being grateful now we're going to create unconsciously create other moments where different things are happening so we could always have a reason to say thank you and with the full moon and gemini energy happening today let me first get into the spirit animal the spirit animal is the hawk and the hawk clearly wanted to come out because within one of the I think it, when the swan came out, a bunch of cards came out and the hawk was one of them. So the hawk definitely wanted to come out. So the hawk has made its presence. And I feel like it's so fitting with today being a full moon in Gemini and Gemini being air and the hawk dealing with air energy. And full moon in Gemini brings me to say something coming to an end when it comes to either our relationship with our siblings and something could come to an end as it evolves to something better. And in some situations, things could come to an end where, you know, an end of doing things. But of course, with every, every ending, there's a birth of some kind of a new beginning. It could come, something could come to an end when it comes to the way how we communicate and express ourselves. But with the hawk being the spirit animal, 
to me what i love about this energy is a level of observation and introspection when it comes to the way we're communicating how we're communicating and the way we're communicating and talking about communication mercury the communicator is in sagittarius so our mind mercury is in a place where we could find ourselves being a little bit more forward than normal and mercury is squaring your it's squaring neptune and pisces so with the square with mercury and uh, pisces the only issue i see with that is that not allowing enough time alone or introspection to uh before speaking and i feel like this is where the hawk energy comes in to kind of like enforce that like with this full moon energy you know this is an opportunity for us to reflect on how we're communicating how we could be better communicators does being a better communicator for you means that you speak up more and express more of what's on your mind expressing your needs to the people that matter so that they can show up for you in ways that they want to but probably didn't know how before because maybe you never gave them the opportunity or express the needs that you have so they can learn you in that way because i look at how the sun and mercury is far apart and whenever the sun and mercury is far apart in someone's natal chart whenever i'm doing readings the person will always admit that they naturally feel like people should know certain things and this is where people hold back communication or information assuming people should know and the issue when it comes to that is that people don't like never assume that someone should know if you didn't tell them like never assume someone should know if you didn't tell them and with the hawk energy it just brings me to taking a step back from everything and you know ask yourself like am i missing something or how can i improve when it comes to information how i consume it how i put it out and also to the people in my life that matters and even your social media presence like is that empowering when it comes to your human experience or is it something that you use as some form of escapism that also depletes your energy what i mean by that is sometimes some of us could find ourselves mindlessly scrolling and whenever you find yourself mindlessly scrolling just know it's sucking your energy. Pay attention to how exhausted you'll feel after from doing absolutely nothing but mindlessly scrolling. So to me with this energy, this is where we want to be conscious about where we're placing our attention, what we're consuming, and also to what we're putting out. When it comes to the tarot, we have the wish fulfillment card, which is the nine of cups in the upright position and with the nine of cups with the eight with the nine of cups in the upright position this person seems content within themselves the nine cups around them kind of looks like some kind of trophy and today the energies in the day adds up to the number nine so with the energies in the day adding up to the number nine there is some kind of an ending or releasing of course with the full moon energy also is some kind of ending or releasing that's happening today with this energy but at the same time with this um, nine of cups card tied into the hawk energy it, it gives me the feeling of even though some, we're letting go of something and something is coming to an end there's still an opportunity to celebrate something and that's my thing when it comes to full moon energies and i think of like a circle always and i always think like the ending is the beginning so if the ending is the beginning there's always a reason to celebrate regardless so to me whatever is being released during this full moon energy it's like it, it's almost like it it benefits us from releasing it it, it, it it's like lighting lightening our load and from lighting lightening our load we make room for other things that are important we make room for other things that we may not have known was important but we weren't prior prioritizing those things before where with this energy the full moon energy it brings me to being challenged in ways uh being challenged in ways when it comes to like communication family sibling or even social media to the to the point that we learn to like lighten our load i i know for me through the years of doing youtube like it's been a death rebirth process for me where through in, engaging and creating content 
I'm faced with different situations that help me to see myself in a different light and help me to see certain parts of myself that I may have overlooked before, but I'm able to see different parts of myself in new ways and, and seeing the importance of setting boundaries, seeing the importance of uh, putting myself first, putting my needs first as everyone should within every communities within our lives. And I feel like with this full moon energy, you know, within your community, whether it's with your family members, your coworkers, your church family, your siblings, your social media family, it's like something comes to an end, but it leaves you feeling more fulfilled. It feeling leaves you feeling more emotionally content. And with the hawk energy coming out within it, it just brings me to taking a step back. I get the feeling of taking it all in. I, I, it brings me to the thought of how a lot of things will happen so fast in our world to the point that we don't take a, get a chance to just take it all in. When it comes to the astro dice, we have the number four. And with the number four coming out, um, certain things could come up within the home and the family environment. And, and also to our emotional security and stability and how we nurture ourselves or regulate our emotions and deal with, thing, deal with things pertaining to that. But the Gemini full moon energy, the nine of cups and the hawk, it just brings me to an opportunity to have a certain kind of conversation that needed to be had with family members or even people with family members possibly or the people that matter. And it's like after having the conversation, you know, feeling like a wish fulfilled type of vibe because you felt like you were heard or it wasn't even necessarily about being heard. I think about the person who writes a letter to say someone who's hurt them, maybe a family member or someone who's hurt them, but it, they don't even deliver the letter, but just writing the letter and being able to express themselves and release all of what they're holding it's like they set themselves free in the process lighten their load and it's almost like a new beginning and i feel like that's something that's coming up today so whether it's having a certain conversation for some people whether it's releasing certain things through journaling speaking or however we release or just coming to certain realization i i, I find that even though this is a full moon energy it's a full moon where, yes, something is released, but at the end of the day, we feel better off from it. We, we feel like, damn, this was necessary. And with the number nine energy, though, and the day being the 27th, the number nine in the full moon, the number nine deals with an ending, of course. But of course, when it's operating on a lower frequency, this is where we hold on for dear life when we should be releasing something so something else can come and replace of it. And I get the feeling of being ready to replace, release whatever that thing was. As I mentioned in the full moon video, you know, uh, back during Gemini season, say back in May or so, uh, certain transits were happening where it felt like a Mercury retrograde in Gemini, even though it really wasn't. And it may have created opportunities for us where some of us rekindled certain family relationships or started connecting with siblings in a way we never did before or old friends from childhood came back. And I feel like this full moon energy kind of tested those relationships and see if they're going to stand this test and keep moving forward with you or they'll fall by the wayside. But either way, whatever happens with this nine of cups energy, you just feel fulfilled. Either way, you can't lose, it feels with this energy. Such a pleasure sharing this message with you. If you'd like to book a natal chart awareness coaching session with me or check out my exclusive contents only on Patreon, the links for that is in the description box below. Before you go anywhere, please let me know you're here with me by dropping me a brown heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.